do you recognize the state of Israel? Uh, no. Uh, you know, the recognizing a country uh, uh, systems, uh, it depends to the, the right of the, uh, each country. And we didn't recognize Israel as a state, as a country. We have, uh, even before the Islamic Revolution, we didn't recognize Israel at all. And why? Uh, based on the international, it is the right of each country to recognize uh, other sides or not because of the, it is the occupied Palestine's people and they push out uh, Palestinians in 1948 based on the support of the United States, UK. So we see it not as a state, it is a, as an occupier, as an oppressor, as like aggressive uh, movements in that uh, area. They occupied Palestinian land. Uh, so the, when you occupy the land, you are not an uh, owner of the land. You said a two-state solution is not possible. Why not? Because it's, it, it's not realistic. It's not, uh, it, it is not happening. But what's happened after the Oslo Accord? What's happened after the, some other agreements that Palestinians gave many uh, benefit to the Israelis, but Israelis don't uh, agree to a state solution? Netanyahu and the other officials mentioned that uh, many times. If it should happen after a uh, three decade, it should happen. But unfortunately, because of the character apartheid regime in the Israelis, they don't let Palestinians have a, a state, independent state and real estate. It is the main reason that the two-state solution doesn't happen. If it should be happen, it should after three decades uh, should happen. But it give a chance Israelis to continue killing of the people and uh, continue occupy new lands of the Palestinians and don't uh, per, uh, respect the resolution in the United Nations 1967. You said during our interview you made an analogy between what uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is doing now in Israel and Hitler during World War II. Can you explain that analogy again for me? Absolutely, the Netanyahu and Israeli regime doings in the Gaza and the Palestine, not after October, even before that, is the worse than the uh, Germany during the Hitler done. Why? Because now we are living in the 21st century. Uh, so this kind of the catastrophe and genocides happening in this uh, situation is the worse than uh, other times. Uh, also, why I compare it that? Because in that times, uh, Hitler uh, started uh, to occupy their neighbors and killing peoples, and unfortunately, the other European power in that times didn't stop Hitler. Just after Hitler occupied uh, Poland, they, uh, they said uh, war with the Hitler. But Israel is now doing the same. But unfortunately, this time, because the crisis happening in the Middle East, uh, European country didn't take a, a serious action that they have done during the Hitler, the attacks to the uh, Poland. So it's the time uh, seriously international community take a serious action, not just by talking by the words. And if we wanted the better future for next generation, the Israeli regime should be stopped, the genocide should be stopped, bombarding to the hospital, school should be stopped. Unfortunately, UK, USA continue arming Israeli regime. Israeli regime uh, have the chance to continue genocide, unfortunately. Uh, you talk to me about the mood now between Israel and Iran. You said that it's the worst that it's ever been. Explain wh what's the mood and why? Unfortunately, the things happening these six months in the Gaza, uh, it's painful for everybody, like we see in the islands. Many Irish people is against to the Israelis' behavior in that, uh, in, in, especially in these six, six months. Because of the killing many people and murdering uh, mostly if, uh, our women and children, its tensions come off not just between, uh, just between Iran and the Israelis. Many countries, Israelis is the completely isolated because of this isolation and hatred feelings of the, all of the wars uh, against the Israeli. Because of the Israelis' aggressive and genocide actions in the Gaza, Israeli try to uh, escalation the power and risk itself uh, from that situation. It is the point that because of that and 
especially after Israelis attack Iranian embassy in the Damascus, the escalation come up uh, more than before. You said they crossed a red line, but just to be clear, I mean, um, uh, the likes of Hamas, Hezbollah, do you see that as a terrorist organization, those as terrorist organizations? Absolutely not. Uh, Hamas and the Hezbollah and other uh, resistance group based off the Irish history, Ireland's uh, no resistance group without this kind of the resistance group, Ireland wouldn't have be able to independent. So I even based off the UN, uh, Hamas and the other resistance group is a political movement. If there is a no occupied land, there is a no need to be a resistance group too. Uh, do you condemn the October 7th attacks? Uh, as I said, the, uh, as the uh, UN uh, Gotres mentioned, the October 7 didn't happen in the vacuum situation. The October 7 is the reaction of the people of the resistance group that Israelis done before. Please refer to the Irish high-level delegation visited the occupied land in the 4th September 2023. Based off that report, I mentioned the people of the Palestine, not just in the Gaza, in the West Bank, other places. It's uh, living uh, people of the Palestine living in the catastrophe situation, mm -hmm. very suffering. Also, 250 of the Palestine has killed by the Israeli. So it was before the so uh, 7 of <laughs> October. So yes. we are not able to just focus on the 7 October. Yeah, so even one children and one women killed, no matter Jewish, Christianity, Muslim, should be condemned. What we should uh, face to the roots of that problem, not just uh, be by labeling one side and feel for the other side to killing and genocide. Okay, let me take you back to something that your, the Iran's president said in 2005. He said Israel should be wiped off the face of the earth. Do you agree with that? Uh, this sentence is separated from a uh, big uh, lecture, big uh, statement. You, uh, before that, uh, for sure, uh, it mentions Israeli will be wiped out based off their own uh, behavior. Because, uh, for example, uh, Irish uh, brave uh, nations kick out apartheid uh, colonial power uh, UKs from the island. Uh, why? Because of the behavior of the colonial power. For mm -hmm. sure the Palestinian people will continue to resist and free their land. So is, is Iran's goal to wipe Israel off the face of the earth? Iran uh, proven uh, all of the Iranian activity is based off the international law and the UN, Iran believe to the multilateralism and uh, all of the resolution happenings inside of the uh, United Nations. It is the Iranian official posi position and Iran practicing in this position. Who just yesterday banned by the veto uh, didn't recognize the Palestinian uh, country, United States. More than for 42 times United States used veto just for the Israel. It's half of the United States use of the veto. But do you, do you agree with that statement, Israel should be wiped off the face of the earth? So yes or no? As I said, Israelis' behavior, Israelis' aggressive uh, uh, behavior and killing and genocide, it hatred, will have uh, the result and, um, uh, that uh, you said. It is the point. As I said, give it your example. What's happening after seven uh, century for the UK in the island? Should leave the island. Ireland should be independent. Palestinian will be uh, will be free, and Palestinian state will be created. I hope sooner is better because not uh, cost of the people life. Thank you.